Welcome to Getting to Know You. I'm your host, Iman Tuzmanigan, and I'm happy to welcome you to this podcast where we get to know members of the Berkshire Hills Music Academy community better. Our guest for today's episode of Getting to Know You is Mary Ann, joining us from Berkshire Hills. Welcome to the Getting to Know You, Mary Ann. I'm so glad to have the chance to interview you today. Thanks, Simi. I'm glad to be here. First question, where were you born? Where was I born? Well, in Northampton, actually, right at Cooley Dickinson Hospital, if we're going to be specific. <clears throat> and uh, and then I lived in East Hampton after that. Have you lived any other places besides Massachusetts? I have lived, um, let me think, all the places I've lived. Lived on the Cape Cod for a number of years, which was a lot of fun back in my early 20s. Um, had, had a blast, for sure, my college years. And um, then moving back to the area, I lived in Leeds for a while um, before moving to South Hadley. When did you become a dance teacher? <laughs> when did I become a dance teacher? Hmm, let's see. I would say when I moved back from the Cape, so probably... Um, I was probably around 22 years old when I did, um, and I was working at a friend's dance studio at the time. And then she closed her studio, and there was a lot of students that were kind of wondering where they were going to go. So I opened up my studio back then. How long have you been teaching dance? Oh, a long time. <laughs> probably, really, like probably over 30 years now. Long time. What inspired you to become a dance teacher? Oh, uh, well, I always loved to dance and I always loved to teach. So the two really seemed to go together pretty well. Um, yeah. How long have you been involved with BHMA? I believe I am going on my 14th year at Berkshire Hills. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been quite, quite a journey here to be able to have dance and uh, theater and bring in yoga. So I've just had a, a blast. Yeah. It's been We're almost great. going on the same amount of years. Are we? I'm, I've been here 13. Yeah, so I think you and I were at the same time, me, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah, and I can still remember teaching in the student lounge when yep. you guys were in the dining room. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Old times. The old times, good, yep. The good old days. Yeah, they you really were, too. We don't too. get those anymore. No, as but it just get, keeps getting better, doesn't it? As we get older, it goes, whoop. <laughs> I'm not going to agree with you on that. I'm going to say it's going to go, whoop. If you could, if you could re-choreograph any show, which would, what would, you, which would it be and why? Oh, that's so interesting. That is an interesting question. Um, you know what? I don't, I don't think I would re-choreograph anything. I think everything ends up being such a, a cool piece of what I would call artwork. You know. Um, it just develops in, I think, a really beautiful way. And I think that I have worked with such great people that the shows have always come together so beautifully. So um, I've been given a lot of um, leeway to kind of create things. And again, working with great people, um, great things happen. When you work with great people, great things happen. So I think everything um, that I've done, I just really have totally enjoyed seeing it evolve. So if I, if I think of anything before we're done, I'll let you know. But if I'm you, not really sure which Do you have a favorite anything. show to choreograph? Well, let's see. I think one of my favorite shows probably was Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, it's a great show. It was a great show, and it is a great it's show. So, oh, yeah. Right? It'll, it'll be a classic forever. I think you're right. It was probably... Um, yeah, one of my favorites. The bottle dance yep. probably was That's one good. of my favorites to uh, to work with the gentleman that did it. Mm. And they worked so hard, and mm. they did such a great job. I can remember people thought that the bottles were um, somehow vel Velcro to their heads. <laughs> and they weren't. Mm. They just did a great job. And these were just regular people mm -hmm. doing their day jobs, coming to do community theater. And yep. um, so that was one, definitely one of my favorite shows. And my son was in it too. So. Oh, yeah, Michael. Yeah, kind of was fun. 
If you could dance along alongside, alongside any famous dancer, who would it be and why? Oh, <laughs> Well, let me go. I'm going to go male and female. Female. We, we didn't have it. I'm, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. I'm going to do, if I could dance next to anyone, I would say Rita Marino. If I could just be like in West Side Story with oh, her, yeah. or we do mm-hmm. back in the day with her, that mm-hmm. would be like amazing. Her mm-hmm. energy and uh, presence, she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. You know, and it just comes through in her movement. So yeah. I really loved her. And love her still. Mm. Um, and I have to go to, you know, with Bob Fosse. He was a big, you know, influencer back when I was growing up in his style of dance. So, yeah, I think I would, I'd have to say I would, uh, I would, I would love to dance along with him for sure. If it was me, I'd probably, if it was a female, I'd probably Ginger Rogers. Oh. If it was a male, Fred Astaire. Yeah. That's just me. Well, I'm going to have two. to do those two. I love those two. <laughs> Can I have A, B, C? Because there's just too many out there. There were so many. Those are good ones, though. Good ones, E-Man. Yeah, I just, I think their styles were beautiful. I think um, Bob Fosse was really, um, historically, you know, he mm. his movements were just so particular. And um, he just really crafted um, a, a beautiful way of movement. So, yeah. But... You got the good ones too. Favorite song to dance to? Ooh, that's a good one too. Uh, gosh, I have to think about that one. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of ones that really uh, evoke a lot of passion for me. But hmm, I have to think about it. There's so many, E man. That's a good question. You got some good questions here. Favorite style to teach dance to? Oh. Uh, honestly, like I there's like two. No, there's three. Like I, I do like tap, but I love hip hop. And I do love lyrical, which now is more like modern. Okay. But I do like hip hop though. I'm gonna put that up at the top if you don't mind. What about our Zumba we do on Monday? Uh we can put that up there too. <laughs> it's not my number one, but it's <laughs> up there. Between you, me and you? Yeah. Mine either. Don't tell anyone. Mine either. We won't tell the class. We, <laughs> we won't, won't tell we won't anybody on the podcast. We won't disappoint them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was your biggest performance? Mm. Or the biggest show you've done? <laughs> that I've choreographed or that I've biggest, per- biggest performance, performance moment, like dance wise or choreo dan- I'm going to say dance Could wise or choreographed. Yeah. yeah I, would I know you choreographed a lot. <laughs> My the biggest <clears throat> challenge and um, one of my proudest moments was probably when I did Wizard of Oz. You did you choreograph Wizard of Oz? I did. I didn't know that. Yeah. The one the Harris one here. Leisure Services. Oh, the one. Yeah. I think the one with that Pam and Adam were in. No, not um, at all. This is many that. years ago. This is probably about eleven okay. or twelve. This is probably one of my first musicals, and I Wizard think, Nice. And it was it was my first introduction introduction to people. Um, that I worked with over at Amherst Leisure Services, so okay. that was great because nice. it's a great company. Oh, it and is. And then um, it's actually the music is really one of like the most complicated <laughs> scores to try to choreograph something to. Mm-hmm. So it was a huge challenge, um, and it wasn't like now that you could look things up and like yeah. maybe try to get some ideas. Like mm-hmm. everything came from up here in my mm-hmm. head, so mm-hmm. I was pretty proud of that and. Yeah, I loved. I, I could watch it again and again and again every night. <laughs> you have the video. I do. Yeah, I do. But I have to say that was that was yeah that was probably a big deal. If you could have a superpower, which would it be and why? Oh. Mm. <clears throat> mm, can I not grow old? That's enough. <laughs> That's an answer. That, that might be one. Yeah, that might be that might be one. Yeah, I don't know. To, that's a good one to think about too. There's so many superpowers I would like. I would like to be invisible sometimes. Mm. That would be a nice one. Um, yeah, I had one before too, and now I can't remember what it is. But I think I'll go with that one. What was your biggest performance? A dance that you ever done? For myself? No, for like other like other people um 
Or yourself. I think it would probably, that was like... The wizard? I think so, yeah. I mean, I loved all the musicals that we did back then. What I always thought was so funny is that before a musical, before we would start on a, um, our adventures of putting together a musical, I wasn't always quite sure if I was going to like it mm. so much. And then by the end, I always loved it. So no matter if it was like Shrek or, you know, there was just some that I was like, oh, I don't know how this is going to be. Mm. And... Um, it always evolved. It evolved into something um, really, really great. Because it's all about the people you work with, right? It's really what it's about, and some beautiful things that get created. So. Favorite show you choreographed at Berkshire Hills? <laughs> I oh, well, That's we, a tough we one. haven't had a lot of shows, but for musical theater, yeah, we don't do a whole show. We don't do a whole show. That's sad. But we musical should do a whole show. theater. We should do a whole show. Maybe someday. A whole production. Maybe someday. I think that's great. I know Tom and I used to talk about things like that. Who knows? I guess, I guess we can't because it's a, such a long... It's a big deal. It's a big deal. But you never know. You can never one say day never. we'll do it. I think that's a, a, a favorite, great goal to have. Do you have a favorite one here that we do? That, we, um, that, we're, that we've done? That we've done in the past? Not, that we're doing? Uh, I'll have to tell you, I still remember, and I say it's like the same one too, but when we did our excerpts from Fiddler on the Roof, oh, yes, remember we, we yep. had so many we like Jeremy, different um, vignettes? The, yeah, we yep. had. He was, a, he was a laser? Wolf. I think so, right? Yeah, Laser Wolf. Yep. And, and we the had, guys doing Bahia. And we had the sisters doing their song. Oh, um, Hoddle. Yeah. Um, yeah. What Hot, is that? What's their fam famous song? Matchmaker. Exactly. Hoddle, Hava, and. The third one, I can't think of it. I can't either. But what? that was fun that we had. Zaitel. Yes, exactly. Zaitel, Hava, and yeah. Hoddle are yeah. the three sisters. So we did a lot of Match songs maker. from that. So that was, I thought, a lot of fun. We, did, we also did, like, I did Lahayim. See, we did a lot. We so did Aladdin. I'd have to say that was fun. A lot of it was great, but I think what I liked about we did Fiddler G is that we did a lot. We did, um, the girl did, um, we, the boys did Carpet. And the girl magic did, uh, carpet ride or woman, whatever it is. The woman in the guy did one head of the bread line. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. I think the I think my favorite one we ever did was it's still into the ones. <laughs> See, and I don't think I was here for oh, that. You here that for was that? well before me. Can you how could that be? Been, oh, been, I wasn't been, in musical theater. We've yet. been here for we've been here the same amount yeah, of time. Michelle. And Michelle? you missed Michelle, Michelle Costa. Yeah. You missed into the woods? Well, I wasn't part of musical did you, theater. Did you get yet. to see the show? Did you get to see it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. If you ever get to see it, it's on Broadway now. I know. It's a, it's, there's a revival. Yes. And actually, they're going to do a performance at UMass. Oh, really? Yep. I want to see it. When? Uh, I think it's in the spring. Oh, they're yep. doing it to the woods? Yeah, they are. I got to go. Are you choreographing? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got it. It's, I guess it's, is it, it's traveling around, right? Uh, the it one could. on Broadway is traveling. Could you know be. they're doing what? Is that a, fi a Barker? Probably. I really got to find out when that is. Because okay. that's my favorite show. When is it? Do you know? Just in the springtime. When I'm in the spring, really sure. you know, of it. I don't know. Because I got I, I, that's my favorite show, and I really want to see is it. Is it really? That's yes. awesome. It's my favorite musical of all time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for listening to today's episode of Getting to Know You. I'd like to thank Marianne again for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you, Our theme man. song is Getting to Know You by Rogers and Hammerstein, performed by BH Making Your Number and Franklin Nichols. Editing is done by Jim Goldstein. <laughs> creative direction by me, him, and Tesman Eagle, support, creative support from Wes, and my mom. We hope, we, we hope you enjoyed the show. Goodbye.